Hey YouTube, Muskrat Jim here. I just picked up this new 5-in-1 shovel. It's a combination tool and I just wanted to do a product review. This thing comes with a shovel blade, a button compass, a nice a fairly long saw blade that's probably eight or nine inches, This is a pick for digging holes and, and uh, that sort of thing. And this little thing is an axe head, a tent stake puller, and a hammer. Now, these all fit together through this, um, through this pin. So all we have to do is just loosen this nut, pop the pin out, and we can swap the other the other uh, items. So I'll just go ahead and do that. And tighten that back up again so it doesn't wiggle. And there you have it. So there you've got your hammer for hammering tent stakes or, or crushing nuts or whatever you want to do and then your axe now the thing about this axe is that it is incredibly dull um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try it out without sharpening it and then I'm going to sharpen it and try it out again now this saw blade the uh, the teeth are really offset so I imagine that'll work quite well but I'll uh, get some video of me using that as well and uh, then we'll get back to you Well, here we are. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that hatchet and set it on the ground here. Take the hatchet and I'm going to uh, cut this horizontal branch down. I need the branch for um, a hammock project that I'm working on for spreader bars. And uh, earlier in the video I said that I was going to try this before I sharpened it. But that doesn't make any sense. So anyway, I sharpened it up. Um, it's pretty sharp right now. Can't shave with it, but um, anyway, I'm sure it's good for what we need it to, to do. So I'm just going to start trimming this branch off, and then we're going to cut it and see how it performs. Well, it seems as if the head loosens up after a few good whacks. Um, it's not very heavy, like a, a one and a half pound hatchet or whatever would probably be a lot better. Um, but anyway, it, it seems okay, I guess. Anyway, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to swap the head out with the saw blade and I'm just going to cut the branch. Okay, it looks like my Blackberry only takes in two minute segments, so uh, the second half of, of this demonstration wasn't filmed. Um, that was the sawing part. Uh, anyway, um, I was able to saw this off, so um, it does work. The uh, thing I noticed was that because it's shaped like a knife, you know, with the saw blade just extends past the handle here. Um, you have to be careful when you're sawing that you don't bend it too much, otherwise you might snap it off. Um, other than that, I think it, it works quite well. Um, the kit also comes with a pouch. So here's the pouch. It, um, 
all the parts fit inside and it's got web uh, belt loops here so you can put that on your belt or hook it to your pack. Um, so I guess that concludes this video. Um, oh yeah, the shovel. The shovel and the pick. I didn't demonstrate those, but I mean, you know, they're obviously they're going to work. Um, the thing about a shovel is that it's always useful around a fire. Um, you can move some hot coals around with it. You can, you can actually dig a Dakota style fire. Um, and you can also use it to dig up roots um, to eat. And you can use it to dig uh, cat holes. Everybody has to poop in the woods, right? Anyway, um, so I'm glad I bought it. And, um, and anyway, if you'd like to get one yourself, I would recommend one. Thanks. Muskrat Jim, signing up. A couple of things I meant to mention in the video. The, um, the button compass does screw out of the handle, and the handle is hollow. So you could theoretically put a small little um, survival kit in there, like fish hooks or whatnot. Um, but I prefer to carry that kind of stuff in a small pouch on my hip. Um, the other thing about the saw blade, um, the teeth are pointing backwards towards the handle, which means that it cuts on the draw as opposed to the thrust. So if you keep that in mind and you don't apply pressure when you're thrusting, uh, you're less likely to uh, bend the blade. Anyway, I think that's about it. Muskrat Jim signing out.